Hey everybody, welcome back to Godwin Garage slash Jack of All Trades. So today, it's time to actually start on what I wanted to do in the first place. Was clean this, paint it, and then put the motor back on. And so I can go mow. I just didn't want this thing to rot away because it's a perfectly good mower. Yeah. As you guys seen in the other parts of the videos, all chaos broke. Broken bolts, broke a bolt off on the case, had to drill that out, fix that, reseal the case, and all that stuff worked out good. Draw out the hole so I can mount it back on. Now we're to part three of this little series. Um, so yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is strip down this whole thing. Uh, I'm going to take the tires off, take that thing off, and um, I'm going to take this off, and then uh, slowly start sanding everything. So um, let's start taking some stuff apart, and then go from there. All right? Okay, let's get her done. Okay, so looks like the bolts on the tires, actually all the way around this whole thing, looks like they're going to be about 10. So you've got one, two, well, let's get the tires off first. Those look like they're going to be a 12 millimeter. Let's see if we're not in there, shall we? Mm hmm. I was wrong, it's a 15. Okay. Well, yep, sometimes you're wrong. I guess it's a 14. Ready then. Doesn't look like I got 14 handy. But I wonder where my 14 went. Guess I'll grab one from over here. 13, there's 14. Okay. Bust everything loose, get everything off. If you're gonna be painting the deck of the mower, you want everything off. That way you don't have nothing gonna be in your way when you're trying to clean stuff up, sand it down, all that good stuff. Wow! Okay, there we go. Don't you break on me. I know you like breaking. So we'll continue taking this stuff apart, taking the bolts off and all that, and uh, we will then take the tires off and then take this off. So let me get these tires off and I'll get back to you guys and I'll show you how to take this off. Alrighty. Alright, so we got the tires off. That was fun. Needless to say, yeah. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do now is um, I'm wanting to take these brackets off, but I got to flip it over to get to those because they're on the inside of this. But as you all know, stuff on the inside's got more rust. Um, so yeah. So we'll flip her over. Let me get all that set up for you, and then uh, let's we'll see if we can get it off. All right, so I'm kind of working on these bolts here. I sprayed them with some penetrating oil. They're pretty stripped out. Um, I'm getting them off, but it's being rude, you know? 
just doesn't like to listen. I'm trying to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to this one or not. I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, it's not looking good here. So this one, I may have to cut this axle out of here. I, mean, I don't need it. I got the wheel spot right here just so I can get in there and get to it. But I'd really like to get the bolt off. Yeah. I'll try one more thing. Let's see if I can get it. Try this little booger right here. So we'll try this one. See if it'll work. Kind of a tight fit area. Um, oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. So I'm trying to get to this bolt right here. It's being a booger. Uh, those are both out. Got that piece out. Um, I was trying to get it all done and then just get that one last bolt out for you and show you, but it's uh, fighting me the whole way. <laughs> yeah, these things are pretty, pretty messed up. Well, what to do, what to do, what to do. Try these. Hmm. Hmm. Just don't know, guys. I don't know. Try this. Oh my gosh. This thing ain't gonna come off of there. I might have to try and I can't even cut that. Oh yay. This is awesome. Shoot. Yeah. This had an automatic feed as you go, it would just roll. Go forward for you, but Dang, man, this thing is not wanting to go off at all. 10 millimeter. I think it was just too small for it. What if I smack that damn thing on there, if I can get that thing to work? Hmm. Maybe. Well, I'm going to work on this, try to get this thing off, and then uh, once I get it off, I'll show you guys how I did it. Uh, well, I sacrificed a socket, and I cut that middle bar out, but, uh, we got it. I'm going to have to replace the nut. I'm going to play it anyway, so I'm not that big of a deal, but, uh, and this dang thing will not stay where I want it to, which is kind of annoying. That's another thing I've been fighting. It's just not staying where I want it. That is so good. Got it. Awesome. Okay, so we got that one off. There's this. We got two C clamps or two. Uh, what the heck are these things called? C clips? I don't know. Why, why can't I think of the name? They, they hold it in here. Um, on both of the ends. So we'll take those off when we get to it. But we got that off. Now we got to get to the back. Uh, we got to get the big nut off first. And then... Um, actually... Flip this thing over the other way. Because... Everything's on the top. So that makes it a little easier. Myself. <laughs> All right. So we got two big bolts. We gotta take off. We gotta take these off right here. I don't know what size they are, but they look pretty dang big. Um, I'm gonna say it's probably what a 19. Is that what that is? Yep. First shot on that one too. Look at that. <coughs> well, let's see if I can get it off. Uh, oh, there it is. There we go. Got 
slow with these. Do not break them. If you feel it's starting to tighten up, go back the other way. Spray some more lube on it if you need to. I don't think it'd be a 10. Let me try the 10. Nah, it's kind of loose. So let's try a 7 16 and see how that does. Here's a 7 16 Let's see if this will work. See if that fits that a little better. No, it does not. Huh. All right. Must be 3 8 I think I got one of those two in here. I get it out. Is it three eighths in? That's the one that it is. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, so we need a three eighths. Which set the wrench out of here. Is it three eighths? No, that's ten. All right, so uh, I think I'm going to use my impact to get these off. There's a three eighths. Okay, Let's see if we can get these bad boys off. Yes, that's what I like to see. all of them for this side. Yes. So now you go to the other side and do the same thing again. Um, I may actually use my impact on the 19 to see if I can get it off. Um, let's see if it'll work or not. I don't know if it will or not. Nah. Let's loosen it up first, and then we can use the gun on it. Um, I don't want to break it. Okay, got it loose. Grab your impact. Be careful. You can kind of feel when it starts to bind up, I think. <laughs> we'll find out, right? There we go. That one's out. Now, do the other ones. Get that out. Three bolts. Take this off. There's that. That's gone. Stick this over here. We'll end up having to paint that eventually too. But now we got the bare bones. <clears throat> uh, take this one out. I don't think that's three ages. No. That is this. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh 
yay. Let's just snap that off. We don't need that, right? You can tell, I mean, this thing is pretty rusted out. This is why I'm doing what I am doing. Uh, let's try some vice grips to get this thing out of here. Another way to mount it. Not really, though. I mean, <laughs> man. Well, we'll figure it out. So now the next thing, the step or next step to do is get all this stuff off. So let's uh, start wire brushing some of this stuff off of here, and once I get it down to where I want it, I'll get back to you guys and we'll do some painting. Alright, so I, I knocked some of the rust and stuff off, took some of the chipped up paint, knocked it off of there, but what I want to do is, I took my disc, what am I doing? I don't know. I took my disc on the grinder, flat disc, and I sanded it down a little bit in some areas. I'm going to continue doing it, but I want to throw some Osmo on this and see what it's going to do. Um, I'd rather get all the rest off as I can, but we'll see what happens. I'm just not 100% sure if it's going to work great or not, but uh, we'll see. Let's stick this thing back up here. I put a little bit of a little bit of work in the front right here, sanded some of this stuff down. Um, I'm going to mainly do this little area right here real quick and see what it does, um, and we'll see what happens. And yeah, I'll just continue going. Um, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys would actually like to see the whole, full process of doing this stuff. Um, I mean, it is a little bit more of a, a filming to do, stuff like that, but... You know, some folks don't know the, the actual steps and process to get down to this metal like this. Uh, the concepts there, you know, just sand it down. Grinders, I mean, I wouldn't really do too much with a grinder because you're li liable to cut through this stuff. So, flap disc is the way to go. 
it's quick, easy, um, wear eye protection, wear gloves. Um, if you're in a room like this, uh, I have the door open pretty much 90% of the time when I'm in here working on anything. Uh, but wear a, a mask um, or a respirator or something, especially if you're grinding or sanding, painting. <clears throat> Uh, you don't want to breathe this stuff in. Um, but, yeah. Uh, this is what I used right here. Just a regular old flat disc. Grinding and polishing flat disc. On my uh, on my grinder. And I just go to town on it until I get to where I want it to be. Um, I try to go down to where it feels smooth. Uh, it, there is divots and stuff in this. But I'm not worried about that. It's just a lawnmower. It's not a, you know not a show car or nothing. <laughs> if it was a, uh, you know, like a car or something, I'd hit it with this, get all the rust and stuff off, get it to where I like it, nice and smooth. And then um, if there's divots and stuff like this in it, then I'd take some Bondo and just do a light, light layer of it over the top, make it all smooth, sand it down, throw some paint on it and call her good. Uh, but this, it's not really that important. I just want to get the rust knocked down and throw a fresh coat, coat of paint on there to make it last a little longer. Um, no reason to have this thing go in the trash. It still works, it still does the job, still cuts my grass, so. Make it last a little longer, huh? Uh, let me put some Osfo on this and see what happens. So with Osfo, same thing. Wear some gloves. Um, I'm not sure if, I mean, you could wear a mask, I guess, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to throw some on a rag and wipe it on there and see what happens. do it um, you can use a paintbrush to put it on um, I'm just gonna use my blue shop rag here a little bit on there and wipe it on uh, see what happens all right and just go over the surface that you're wanting to prep up smother it on there um, I believe I've never really used this stuff but I believe this stuff turns black if I remember right I remember my a couple of my friends have used this stuff doing some painting jobs and stuff here and there but prep the whole area get it ready to go see what happens on that one, huh? Um, okay. I'm going to leave that in here. It's getting a little cold. So anyways, yeah, that's how I do it. Um, I don't know if it's correct. I guess I should probably read it. <laughs> um... coating out of paint remove loose paint and rust scale dirt oil grease and other accumulations with the wire brush or pressure washer and let dry apply a thin coat and becomes pre-diluted in a container let let dry for a minimum of 24 hours and then apply paint longer times may occur depending on temperature and humidity all right Oh, do not breathe, 
spray oh do not breathe spray mist fume gas dust or vapors wear gloves <coughs> all right yeah okay so that's that this stuff's pretty potent i'm gonna leave the door open tonight <laughs> but uh yeah i mean <clears throat> it's just the process of trying to get this thing better uh, i don't want the rust to come back through when i paint it i'm gonna throw a self-etching primer over this whole thing and then paint it red and then I'm gonna get my decals um, and put them back on there or I might just make my own don't know yet uh, anyways um, it's uh pretty late I think it's about let's say 30 it's late enough uh, wife's made dinner kids are inside the house they want to play so I'm gonna go in there and hang out with the wife and the, and the kids watch a movie and I'll see you guys in the morning. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> it's leaning down. Oops. Uh, yeah, anyways. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, and we'll continue on this project. Um, if you give me some ideas. Uh, I, I want to paint it red, but I, I'm trying to think if what kind of color of a red I would paint for this. Um, the red that I have is an industrial... Um, heck is it industrial red is that what it's called <laughs> um, safety red safety red sunset red sunset red um yeah You know, leave, leave me leave me something in the comments. Let me know what you guys would do. Uh, anything differently, or something else you'd like to see of what I'm doing here. Um, I'm also going to take the blade and grind it and sharpen it up so you can see how to do that too in here. Um, that might be a different video of how to sharpen a lawnmower blade, but it's all in the same project. So, uh, anyways, hope you guys had a good weekend. It is. As I said, 8.30. It's on a Sunday night. Back to the grind tomorrow. I've got to go back to work. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I do some, I do a lot of work. I, I do about 55 hours a week at my regular job. And then I do content for you guys when I can. Um, I'm trying to do it to where it, at least I have a video out every month. Um, sometimes more it just kind of depends on what I'm doing <coughs> this one I can put it out you know I made three or four four videos of this and then this is the last part of this video um, but yeah let me know something else you guys would like to see um, I'm, I'm in the process right now trying to find an old-school pickup to, to fix up and you know try to get running and stuff like that but everything around where I live is way too much money for them and I don't want to pay that <laughs> it's a little little out of my price range um, but yeah all right I'll uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow so we're gonna continue sanding on this thing and getting it ready for paint um, the front of this looks a lot better straight down to bare metal now which is good um, continue over here try to get some of this paint off and then I went and picked up some more red paint and some primer we're gonna finish this thing off um, yeah slowly going at it <laughs> 